Hey everyone, Force Restart here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable backup codes on Roblox. So let's get started. So the very first thing you need to do is, of course, have the Roblox app. But the other app you also want to go ahead and get is from the App Store. You're going to look for Authenticator app. Now, if you use one already, you can use that. Usually you can use uh, Microsoft Authenticator or Google Authenticator. I'm going to use this one because I already have a Google Gmail account. And once you download and install from your Play Store or the App Store, you're going to just basically sign into your Google account. This is needed in order for the backup code. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So first thing is go into your Roblox app and then click on More. And then we're going to go down to Settings. Now from Settings here, we're going to go to Security. Now, once in your security here, as I mentioned, first thing is we need to set up the two-step verification. So Authenticator works great. You can also use email or a hardware security key. So I'm just going to turn on the first option here. And then basically enter the code who sent you. So they're going to send you a code in your email that's linked with your account. So I'm just going to enter the code that I received right now. So basically, I'll enter the code that I got in my email, which you'll get in your email as well. And from there on, you will basically get that backup code here. So what you need to do is copy this code. So we're going to copy that and then go over to the authenticator ad and add a code and then set up manually. And here we're going to enter basically paste in that. And then we're going to put the account name, for example, Roblox and hit add. And now we have this here we're going to go back here. And then we're going to enter that code that we're being generated. So go ahead and enter that code. So as you can see here, 68. I'm going to click on verify, and it's verifying. Now, once you have verified, you basically will get new backup codes. So you can see here, these are the backup codes. So we're going to go ahead and, again, copy and basically select and copy, copy them. And then you can say I have selected. So I usually just copy press and hold to copy and then I save it somewhere secure maybe my notes for example I can go ahead and open up a new notebook new note just paste it in there so I can keep that and I'll click on save here and then I have this code and then I can do that and close it and now I enabled it now if you didn't copy that you can always generate one you can click on generate so you can go ahead continue and this will be the new one but then you have to enter the code that again from this thing here. So you're going to take the code again, the new code. So I have the new code three and then one zero one. So take the new code each time you want a code. As you can see here, I can get another code here. And then the same thing, long press and hold, or you can even screenshot this basically to copy that code that you have enabled and then save it to again notes or any other app as well so that you have this new code remember each time you generate a new one the old one becomes invalid but that's how you do it and that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks see you guys next time